The 2000s began a new era for Dalat. As a newly independent school, Dalat was no longer run by the organization that had founded it in 1929, the Christian and Missionary Alliance. A school board formed to help lead the school, and more expatriate families in the business community were welcomed to Dalat. In 2002, the word international was added to the school name to reflect its growing international student body of 233 students. In the middle of the decade, Dalat students came together to help the community clean up and rebuild after the tsunami of the 26th December 2004, which caused horrific damage around Southeast Asia. Dalat's seawall had to be rebuilt after crumbling under the wave. Dalat saw exponential growth in 2006 to over 300, with the arrival of Korean students looking for an American college prep education and the new Malaysian law that allows local students to attend international schools. Five Malaysian students enrolled that year. Beginning in 2008, new high school requirements reflected the changing times. Students were required to take at least one online course, and the following year, students had to complete community service hours before graduation. Brendan Friends was a Dalat student during these times, and developed a passion for learning the Mandarin Chinese language. Brendan's love for Mandarin has propelled him across the globe to study and work in China, finding himself in some very interesting situations. Brendan was born and raised in Indonesia and came to Dalat in grade five. His first exposure to Chinese culture and language was in high school, when he was hooked by Mandarin classes taught by his Mandarin teacher, Eunice Tio. Brendan says that she brought Chinese to life. He says each and every class was building a fire inside of him for China that kept growing stronger and stronger. After leaving Dalat when he graduated in 2008, Brendan headed to his home country, Canada, where he began working for the Marriott Hotel Company in Edmonton, Alberta, and then attended McEwen University. During his first year there, he heard about the Chinese Government Scholarship, which sponsors international students to study in China. It was an easy decision to apply, and he was soon accepted. The first year in the program required intensive Mandarin study, which Brendan describes as the highlight year of his life. He then moved to Chengdu to study in a Chinese immersion business program while continuing to work in the hotel industry. While there, Brendan was encouraged to take part in a nationwide competition in Mandarin for foreigners and he decided to go for it. He passed through six rounds and in the grand final, which was televised around the world, Brendan placed sixth. In 2015, following the successful completion of his Mandarin Immersion Business Management degree, Brendan returned to Canada, where he found employment with a Chinese company. He also serves in a Chinese church and gladly accepts Chinese speaking engagements. Brendan Friends found passion in learning. Passion for learning is what DeLotte students are encouraged to find and pursue today.